Ćao, ja sam Didi Džej, pevačica i mona dizajnerka i vi slušate intervju sa Alanom Goodmanom na gogoodman.com.australia. Hi, uh, I'm Didi Džej, uh, the music artist and a fashion designer and you're listening to my interview with Alan Goodman on gogoodman.com.au. You're from Serbia originally and you obviously go back there as much as you can. I read that you grew up in a family of driven and strong-willed individuals. Can you tell me when that mindset started to have an impact on you? Uh, well, I've, I've always been um, uh, in, my, in my family since I was young. Uh, I always work hard and keep fighting for my dreams. My parents uh, and my family uh, taught me, of course, to fight for what I want and what I like to do in my life. And, uh, you know, that's why when I become an adult person, um, and now I have um, uh, the motto, do or die. It's my motto now. <clears throat> so did you have siblings as well that had that same mentality no 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 i'm the only one oh, yeah only no child I... yeah <laughs> right so you got you got all the attention and all all that all that uh motivation fell onto you yeah, I, I have I had everything for myself. You know, maybe uh, sometimes I, I I wish I I had a a sister or brother, but you know, uh, it's only me and myself now. <laughs> And I must fight alone, and everything that I did in my life with, with my career, I did by myself. Were you always into music and fashion, or did you like a variety of things as a kid? Uh, I've always been into music and fashion. From my When I was five, I started uh, with uh, singing and uh, performing at, at home in my mini studio, you know, like baby studio. <laughs> because I was too small, and and I loved uh, to listen to pop music, uh, American music, and it was amazing, yeah, you know, like, I was very young. <laughs> Did you watch I, the... I mean, go, on. go on, sorry. Yeah, I, ha I had very big dreams, you know, I, I always wanted to be a singer and a fashion designer, and, you know, I, I made, I also made some clothes for my Barbies, and it was very interesting. Wow, even from the age of five? Yeah, yeah, from from fifth year, yeah. Wow. What kind of, yeah, as you said, you're, you're into American music. What kind of music were you into? Were you into some local artists or was it mainly international mainstream music? Um, I Well, I listened to, to pop music, uh, especially to Britney, Britney Spears, yeah. J.L.O., yeah. Madonna. I loved them and I loved Christina Aguilera also, Ginny Nabal and... Uh, and Britney Spears, lucky it was that period of time, you know, it was popular then. <laughs> what about, did you listen to any local artists? Uh, no, no. Oh, what did you say? Uh, local artists, like Serbian artists. Uh, no, not too much. I always wanted to listen to, you know, uh, the music in English and American music. You know, it, it was always my dream to, to come to, to the U.S. and to build my career there. I read that at age 15 you completed a fashion model course and became a model. Was this a common path for young girls or young women in Serbia? Did you have friends that were into the same kind of thing? Uh, well, I had uh, so many friends, but uh, our, our country uh, was very small and uh, I, I didn't have the big opportunity to, to make something big here in Europe. That's why I decided to move uh, to United States because, you know, it's a small country. People uh, used to, to listen to folk music. And if you want to be a model on a fashion or a fashion designer, you know, it's when something is very small. I just wanted uh, that more people see my work and, and my to hear my songs. And I think uh, only the sky is the limit for me. <laughs> So when you when you were growing up, what what were your friends kind of into? Were they into music and fashion as well, or were they into sport or into reading or what what kind of things were they into? Did you have many well, friends that were into fashion? Well, they 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 weren't actually uh, into fashion too much because uh, uh, they are not the same. I was different i was totally different from my friends they they, they like sport uh, like business economy and everything you know and management and i always love to sing 
and and to do fashion it inspired me you know it, it's like like my passion and i never gave up when so you're currently you're a musician you're you're a singer and you're a fashion designer when did you start to record your music I started about uh, 17 years old, but uh, my first public appearance was on 19 years old uh, when I won one very famous, the most famous festival in Serbia. And that's how I started to do my job. You know, before that, it was a hobby. I, I didn't realize that I can do that uh, very seriously, that I'm ready. And with 19, I, I just started and, you know, it just blowed up. So did you get a recording contract in Serbia to start or? Uh, yes, I, I won a festival. I, I, I did a contract and that's how everything happened. And then, uh, you know, because Serbia is a ver very small country and uh, close to Serbia are Croatia, uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina, uh, Austria and uh, many more countries. Uh, and I'm popular uh, there too, you know, in Austria. Also, because I have a company uh, in Austria, I work with IPTV also, except uh, music and fashion. And, you know, it's very interesting that people love me there too, because, you know, they, they speak German and it's a different country. Your new song, Say No More, features one of the most iconic voices of the 90s, which is the period I grew up in, uh, Shaggy. Why did you think of him for a collaboration? Uh, well, uh, when we finished the Say No More song, uh, my, my team and I discussed about the collaboration and what are the next steps for us uh, about the U.S. market. And uh, uh, one, one guy from my team told me that uh, he has a good connection with Shaggy and that this song sh goes, would, would be good with, with him, you know, and we called Shaggy and he was in love with the song. Uh, he did the feature and it was amazing. I was very happy that that he said yes and that we finally did it. You know, it's it's the first uh, song for the U.S. market for me, and uh, it is very important that I did it uh, good. Did you get to meet him before he recorded it, or did you record it before you got to meet him? Uh, I recorded first. Yeah. The song. Yeah, I recorded and we finished everything. And you know, you know, when we listened to the the, the song before the the radio started to play, uh, I I was wondering maybe maybe to send it to Shaggy. You know, who knows? Maybe he will say yes. Actually, uh, we, my my team uh, we were not sure that he will say yes because you know I come from Europe. I'm new artist, and you know it was. It was very lucky. <laughs> <laughs> so when when did you get to meet him for the first time? Uh, the f what did you say? I'm sorry. Uh, when when did you meet Shaggy face to face for the first time? Was it when you were, were recording the video, or did you get to meet him before that? Yeah, yeah. We, I heard him by the phone, but uh, I saw his him first time when he came to do the video in Miami. It was amazing. Uh, I did a video with Jill Green. He's a very, very big, big guy in, in the music industry and the video. And uh, he he worked with uh, Nicki Minaj, with uh, Pitbull, with Florida. And I'm very honored that he, he worked with me now. And uh, he was very satisfied. He, he said that I have a, a lot of energy because for, for 20 hours, uh, that was how how many hours we we, we did uh, recorded the video. He he said me uh, that that he's very uh, very satisfied with my, with my energy, you no, know, because I, I didn't stop even for for five minutes. <laughs> I was very excited. <laughs> I've watched a few of your music videos, including Say No More, and they're very extravagant. They're they're in and around beautiful mansions with sports cars and backup dancers. How important is the video to your music and your marketability? Uh, well, the video is very important for me because, you know, I like the visuals and uh, I work with fashion and I'm also a video producer. If you didn't know that, I have a, a company in Europe and I, I, I do videos also. Um, and uh, before Jill Green, I did all my videos in um, in Europe, and people said it's amazing. You know, it's amazing job that I did it because I, I was very young, 
and I started and I organized everything, you know, beautiful videos with nice girls, with my clothes, with the cars, yachts, and it was amazing, amazing job for me. I'm very excited and, and the videos are very important for me. Do you feel that uh, maybe the, the audience can still relate to them even? Because it, 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 it's, it's interesting and it's something I've always wanted to ask a recording artist. I've, I heard a line in a Mark Wahlberg movie and about, about music and about rock stars um, and the line was that as a rock star you have to live the life that the average person can only dream of. So is, do, you, do you still find that the audience can, re can relate to you even though you, you've got these extravagant, amazing music videos? Well, I'm just... Yeah? Yeah, do you, do, you, do you still feel like they can, they can relate to your lifestyle a little bit? Or, or, is uh, it, or is it that feeling of wanting kind of that rock star life that, you're, that, you, that you kind, kind of live sometimes? Uh, yeah, I know that people, that all the people want um, months in their lives to feel something like that. You know, when you when you when you are doing the videos and uh, um, recording the songs, it's something special. It's like you know, dream come true, and people always want to see that. And that's that's why I, I like big videos. And you know, but but when you uh, when you finish, when I finish with the recordings and and everything, I'm just you know like. Simple girl, like every else. <laughs> <laughs> How much time are you spending in America now? So when, when did you move to America from Serbia? When did you officially, have you moved to America or do you spend most time in Serbia still? No, I, I, I didn't move officially, but I, I will very soon. Uh, I'm spending uh, uh, the most of my time in the U.S. because I work, I work a lot. I, I work very hard on my project and from the first day. And um, I don't know, maybe maybe soon. I haven't bought a house yet there in the U.S., but I would love to. It's my dream <laughs> to move. Where where in the U.S. have you picked a city? Uh, the city, of, I'm not sure. I like New York, Miami, and L.A. So I, I must I must choose one. <laughs> yeah. As someone who I'm guessing, what what's your first, is your first language Serbian? Yeah, it's Serbian. Right. Okay. So because obviously you grew up in Serbia. As someone who doesn't speak English as their first language, how hard was it for you to make the move into America, be confident in your brand, and attract an English-speaking audience? Uh, well, I can say uh, it wasn't hard. It was very hard. But you know, uh, I love languages. And I love learning uh, and expl exploring new cultures. I love traveling also. And it wasn't it wasn't hard at all to, to learn English. I love English. It's my favorite language. Really? Yeah. People yeah. Say, people say it's the hardest language to learn because there's so many variables. You know, uh, I, I don't know. I, I love it, and when I go anywhere I go, I I could speak English in English. So. It's it's nice. It's my favorite. I don't know. <laughs> you also have your own uh, clothing line, and you're involved in the modeling world, as we've mentioned a bit already. Most of that is based in New York City, and you've mentioned you do love New York City. What do you like about it? Well, when I uh, got first time to to New York, uh, I didn't know what to think actually, because the, the, all those big b buildings, you know, it's it's a diff different, so much different than other cities, but. When I spent a, a, a few months there, I figured out that that is a very big city, and uh, you know that you have all the all the time to to do something there, to work, you know, to to explore. And uh, right now, I'm planning to go to New York to New, to visit New York Fashion Week, and I'm very excited about that. Are there a couple of different landmarks or things to do that that you really that you really wanted to do before you went there? Uh, I'm not sure. I didn't think about that actually, but I wanted to see um, Madison Square Garden and the Central Park, and I, I love nature. Have you Have yeah. you done that? Have you done that now? Have you been to Madison Square Garden and Central Park? Yeah. 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 I went there. Yeah. It was amazing. You know, I took a lot of photos, and I enjoyed really. And people are great there. 
And if we move back to languages for a minute, I, I read that you speak four languages strongly, English, Spanish, Russian, and Italian, and make that five with Serbian. What's the key to mastering a new language or four? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, like I said before, I love exploring new cultures and new languages, and, and I love it. You know, it's like my life. I always, uh, I always do what I love, like music and fashion, and I think the languages goes with that. Do you have a, a technique for learning a new language to make it a bit easier? No, people say I'm very talented, you know, because uh, I, I learned uh, Spanish uh, by uh, watching the telenovelas, <laughs> you know. It was very interesting when I was uh, very, very young. I started and here in Serbia and I watched a lot of telenovelas and that's how I, I learned Spanish. It was very, very nice. How, how did you learn Russian and Italian? Russian, I went uh, to one small school and uh, I learned there. So, you know, it's not maybe uh, perfect like, Eng like English, but, but I understand a lot of things. And, and Italian? Italian, I love Italy. Yeah, I, I watch movies also. And, you know, I, I just saw something, uh, the translation and everything. And I know that it's, it's very interesting about me. <laughs> so... So then where, where did you learn English? Did you learn English while you were still in Serbia or did you kind of perfect or get to know it better when you started going to America? Well, I started from my, uh, when I was five, like I told you, I started with singing and everything, learning some ah, words. Right. Yeah. And so, I speak English, yeah, for a whole my life. So that's why I, I speak good. I think <laughs> I speak good. Yeah. Do, do your, do your parents speak English? Uh, no, my, my father, he speaks Italian. He likes Italian. But my mother, uh, yeah, she understands English, yeah. You're also the cousin of Serbian tennis star Jelena Jankovic. Are you a tennis fan? Yeah, I love tennis, but my passion is music and, and fashion, of course. I, I always support Jelena, and uh, I was at the U.S. Open last year. We were together and we, we spent amazing time there. Uh, also, I took a lot of photos there. And I remember it was very hot in New York. <laughs> oh, man, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm actually really tired at the moment. I was, I was watching the, fi the, U the Australian Open final last night. Yeah, really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Watch uh, Federer and um, Nadal. Yeah. 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 Oh, what a match. Uh, yeah, it was great. <laughs> so what's... Yeah? What do you like what, – what's, what's going to the U.S. Open like? Because I, I haven't been to the U.S. Open before. I've only been to the Australian Open. Have you been mm -hmm. to, to Wimbledon or the French Open before? And, uh, I, yeah, I, I went to French Open in Paris, and uh, I, I went to U.S. Open. But uh, I have never been in Australia, but I would love to come. Or you yeah, haven't, yes. haven't been to Wimbledon yet either? No, no. <laughs> right, so no. what's, what's – What's the difference in the kind of feeling of the event between the French Open and the U.S. Open? Well, I think that U.S. Open is even bigger because it's in the U.S. and, you know, everything is it's bigger and uh, uh, more glamorous in the U.S. And uh, Paris is a very nice city, but I, I love New York uh, more. And, uh, you know, when you go to the U.S. Open, you feel like a dream come true because everything is very big and, and bright and the courts and... and uh, I felt very excited there. When you're not DDJ, so when you're not when you're not your when you're not on stage or when you're not using your stage name, when you're just at home with family or friends, what do you like to do? Well, a lot of things. I I always do something. You know, I I never just sit at home and and uh, um, in my spare time I love going for a long box. And uh, I run every day for one hour, you know. By the end of the day, I go outside and run and that's, and do some exercise. And, uh, you know, that's, that's why I'm, I'm fit. <laughs> and I love, um, you know, uh, to watch some movies and uh, to, to read uh, Vogue.com, Harper's Bazaar and everything about fashion. Yeah, I'm totally in fashion all the time. Do you have do you have a lot of cousins that you're trying to impart your wisdom on? A lot of younger cousins? Uh, yeah, I have cousins. Yeah, 
And uh, I must say that uh, all little girls like me and they like my passion, my music. And uh, I become very, very proud when they come to me and say that, that they like my style, my fashion, my, my music. And, you know, and very young girls, they, they know my songs. That's very, very exciting. Now, so- something that I'm always interested in with whoever I interview, I- interview is how they interpret social media. Do you, are you a fan of social media? Do you like using it? You're, you're getting more and more popular on things like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Do you like using it? Yeah, I, I love I love using Instagram. It's my favorite, and now Snapchat and you know Insta Story and all that stuff. And I, I opened Twitter uh, two months ago, and you know I'm I'm just I'm growing at the moment on Twitter. <laughs> Do you like Instagram? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm starting to get more and more into Instagram. It took me a little... I've had it for a couple of years, but I'm starting to get more and more into it. I like Facebook. I'm Twitter's okay. I kind of like Twitter. I don't get Snapchat. I don't use Snapchat at all. I just don't understand the concept of it. But, you yeah, know, I mainly like Facebook and use Instagram if I go to, like, events or if I go out and find something cool to take a photo of. Um, but Twitter, I just get annoyed by the 140 character thing. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I know, but my Instagram is favorite. You know, I I took photos and uh, almost every day. And, you know, about I I post about my fashion, about music, about my wishes, traveling, about everything. Are there things you don't like about social media? Are there neg- negatives of social media and being being online so often? Uh, well. I didn't think about that, but maybe that people, you know, when you oh. have hate have and you, they have write you experienced a lot of... anything. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. yeah. Sometimes, yeah. But you know, that doesn't bother me because you know, it's I'm a singer and I know that there is um, always something like that. All right. So, so it's 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 mainly positive because yeah, like I've, I've interviewed people that kind of don't like to use it and don't like to put their life out there so much they kind of have, have a bit of a private side have you figured out the line between what you like to share and what you want to keep private uh well i'm i'm always uh something that that i'm at home you know and when i when i sing and when i do my fashion i'm the same person always and i i'm always like i said before me and myself <laughs> because i don't want i can be different I'm just normal, normal person, and I will always be simple, and no matter if I sing and or do fashion. And I've, I've got to ask: You're starting to go to America more and more often. Have you been to Vegas to see Britney perform live? No, but it's my wish. I know uh, I want to see J Lo and Britney there because last last time I went to Atlantic City. And I was thinking to to visit uh, to visit Las Vegas, but I didn't have time. I I came back to New York to work on my song. So next time I come to to the US, it's very soon. It's in ten days. I'm sure I will visit. Who was who was the first artist you said? Who and Britney? Uh, Britney, J Lo, Madonna, uh, uh, Christina Aguilera. Yeah. Right. Are they are they all performing in Vegas as well? I I think J Lo is. Yeah, I know J Lo is. I'm not sure if Madonna's. Got a spot in Vegas. No, not Madonna, but J-Lo always performs yeah. there. Yeah. Right. I'd oh, love, love to go to Vegas. There's so many artists there that do big shows. Now, and finally, where can people find you? Where can people follow along with you? Uh, they can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, uh, Facebook, Twitter, and uh, just, you know, DDJ Official. It's my... Uh, stage name so <laughs> they can follow me on social media and they can um, uh, find me on YouTube also my my new song uh, DDJ featuring Shaggy say no more it's uh, av- available now everywhere and it's had over one and a half million hits on YouTube yeah, yeah, I'm very excited because you know uh, most of the views come from the U.S. and it it means a lot of uh, to me because now I know that uh, U.S. fans like me and it's very important for me. Cool. I I hope that soon I will have the fans in Australia too. 
soon. It, it, it'll, it'll all come in due course. It, if you get big in America, you'll float over to Australia because we pretty much get everything that America likes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dee Dee, it's been an absolute pleasure. I hope you've enjoyed yep. it. Um, and so yeah, one. good luck with your next trip to America. I hope you get to go and see Brittany and make make some more contacts and enjoy the well. It's, it's coming out of the cold weather now, gradually. So yeah. hope, hopefully it gets a little bit warmer for you when you get over there next. Yeah, thank you, and maybe I will visit Australia soon. Hopefully that that'd be great. You'll love Australia. It's so much fun. Yeah, I have I've heard from my cousin Yelena. She told me that's amazing there. Hi, DDJ here again. I hope you enjoyed the interview. If you want to watch the music video for Say No More, just scroll down. Bye.